What's happening everyone? It's TJ here. Welcome back to Pokemon Unbound Insane Difficulty. If you're just joining us, uh, you can check out the previous episode where we started Pokemon Unbound. We took the Larvitar as our starter, uh, just because I feel like that might give us a better advantage later on. It's going to be kind of tougher. I don't think he's going to be too strong in the first gym, uh, just because I know the, I remember the first gym is Grass. And having a four times weakness to grass moves is not ideal, but there are plenty of ice type Pokemon that we can find here. We're going to explore Bellentown today. Uh, maybe a little bit of the cave, just kind of see what we're up against. I know this guy gives us something. A Glammeow. Oh, heck yeah. I've only ever... I know he can give you, I believe, there's three different types. It's like a Glammeow, a Scorippy... And I don't remember what the other one is. I am not nicknaming stuff. Uh, this isn't going to be a Nuzlocke. This is just going to be a see if I can beat Insane Difficulty without going completely insane. This guy wants to hire us to be his bodyguard. Because he has a Sand Slash that's taking all of his stuff. And it's blue. I don't remember it being blue. I thought it was a normal one. What do they call it? The um, Alolan form? Uh, Alolan? Alolan form? Oh, she tried to stop. Oh. That sand slash just kicked her butt. Why would he just stand there and let his daughter try to stop him? Like, what kind of father are you, dude? Get my food back from that Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, sure, I'll, uh, I'll go get your food. You have all your food and all... Well, I guess you don't really have much food storage here, do you? Alright, I'll help you out, brother. There goes the sand slash. Towards Icicle Cave. What's that yellow Pokeball? Why is it yellow? Don't disturb me, citizen. I'm on duty. Wow. Even the cops don't want to talk to you here. Jeez. The statue of theirs legendary Articuno. It was built from scratch from my father. My father is so cool. Yeah, your father built the statues, but your father wasn't um, the former owner of Hoopa. Did you know there's a special Pokeball that heals Pokemon? When you capture it, it heals away all the damage. Thank you, that's awesome. Use him in good health. Oh, brother. Elamise. Elamise? Elamis? Elumis? Yeah, my pronunciations are going to be horrible. I've never watched the anime, except for maybe a couple episodes when it first came out. So I do apologize if I murder these names. And they haven't gotten any easier as the storyline goes on. Taking a moment to check out the local facilities. The Poke Center here is here for free. Well, yeah, you can't really see the red or blue roofs, can you? It's free of charge. Some facilities use a Pokemon as a Porygon instead. I don't get why Porygon would store other... Well, I guess it's a digital Pokemon. So that kind of makes sense. It's digital, so it's just like a projection of the PC. Doing a survey, collecting as many birthdays. When is your birthday? Well, I'm going to age myself here, but I was born 1987 on February 27th. Puts me at 36 years old, and I got a birthday coming up soon. I wonder if there's any... I will have to check it out. I wonder if there's any kind of... Uh, special thing when you when it's your birthday if I come talk to her if I wonder if she gives us something special alright let's check out Glam Meow better special defense lower defense better special attack lower defense but almost all almost all perfect IVs except for I think it was two which was like speed and attack 
I wonder if that's supposed to be normal for that egg. Uh, if anybody knows, let go ahead and put it down in chat and let me know. Okay. Well, is there anything else I need to set up here before I really start? That's. The, I wish I could speed up the text for all of the text. Like, if there's a way to do that, it'd be nice. Just looks like you can only speed up the battle text, which is fine. I'm, I'm happy with that, but I'd like to speed up the other text if we could. Sand slash is digging. Now, how is that not there if that's where it originally came from? Smooch him! Ooh, I'd like to catch a smooch him. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Oh, I'm frozen. Are you kidding? I got fro- I'm sorry, what? I was frostbite. What the heck is frostbite? Do I, I have an ice heal. Heals from frostbite. I was thought out, but I still attacked. Frostbite like burn, where if I get frostbite, I just take damn. I'm gonna have to check, find that out because that's interesting. Okay, let's see here. Serebi says, "Oh, so this is from Legends Arceus. It adds this." Each turn the Pokemon is affected with Frostbite, it loses its 1 16th of max HP and its special attack. Okay. So it's. Oh, during snowy weather, I'm more likely to be hit by it. But I'm, I'm in an ice cave, so does that count? It's not hailing. Okay, that's kind of cool. So that's like a. Um, that's like burn, but for special attack. That is really cool. I like that. I like that I can... I like that. That's cool. Rogan Rolla. Um, oh, not the Braille stuff again. I hate translating all this Braille. I actually have a sister who works with the vision, vision impaired people and blind people. And she actually got certified for Braille, so she she could look at that and probably be like, "Yep, that's what that is." But she she teaches how to read in Braille, all that kind of stuff. So she she's pretty cool. Me, on the other hand, I look at Braille and my brain just starts going dead. Oh. Would you look at that? Oh, gosh, you got a quest for me. It's probably to figure out what this means. Who could have predicted there would be this open section? That sand slash is sloppy digging. Tap with it's there. Each of the texts is an ancient dialect, long since forgotten. After many years of studying the language, I've created a device capable of translating the text. In fact, if you're willing to uncover the secrets of these stone walls, I'll be willing to share it with you. Well, of course. That makes it so much easier if it just translates it for me. Behind this ta these tablets, if you have nine remaining. So I'm looking at this frostbite mechanic, and it shows the Legends Arceus also brought out a thing called Drowsy, where they because they got rid of the sleep mechanic. Holy crap, Makahita! Dude, you just came out swinging. Drowsy. Pokemon may be unable to move each turn and receives increased damage from attacks. 
so it's like it's not sleeping, but it's kind of sleeping. Oh my gosh, this thing is wrecking me. Welcome to Insane Difficulty. Fake out, at least I get a flinch. Uh, come on, can we catch him? Just work. One ball. Come on. My glam is not going to live this. Another arm thrust, even if you only do two. Stay in there. Yes! Got him. Makuhito, I mean, this thing was, this thing was beating me up. today. Let's see. Makahita. Toughens up by slamming against its stomach. Yep. It does belly drum. <laughs> I think with Makahita fighting the sand slash should be easy. Oh. Alright, here's my Zubat. The tentacruel of the skies. I really hope they don't have Zubats in every single dungeon. I can't remember if they do or not, but I'm pretty sure they don't. Like, all the places in this game are fairly unique. <coughs> Quite unique because they they really wanted to make it feel like the game it is. Unlike the first couple of generations where you have like a what is it? 60% chance to encounter a Zubat in, ev in every single cave. It may not be 60% all the time, but it sure as heck feels like it. Right, what are we going to do? How can I... If I powder snow, he's going to die. I don't, I don't have powder snow on snow up, though. Can't astonish. I don't know how much he's doing astonish. Fine, take it back. Alright. Get in the ball! And stay in there. Got him. Zubat was caught. Alright, so that leaves me with... That should pretty much be everything, right? That I need right now? Yeah, I, I, well, I know I can catch something else down here. It's the... It's like a mole with claws. Uh, Drillmer. That's it. And if I get him, I get him. If I don't, I don't. I'm not trying to catch everything right now. I'm just kind of trying to play through catching what I encounter. Unless it's needed for a quest or a trade, I'm probably not going to sit and grind for something. Alright, so we got to go through this. This thing went up towards this area. Oh god, I'm gonna get ganged up on. Slash! Wild Sand Slash up here. Go Makuhita. Uh oh, alright, I'm two levels lower. Do I have. What's my ability on Makuhita? Can I resist. Like, this thing's ice attacks? Uh, I got a fake out for it, but this thing is steel. Like ice, yeah, that didn't do it. I know steel's weak against fighting. I'm not sure if ice is, so I'm not sure if this is just two times weakness or one time or four times. Oh, don't die, don't die! Oh my gosh, so much damage! Oh, crit! One more, yes, got him. Yay, Makuhita for the win! Alright, everyone's 
leveling up. Sand slash. Oh. And you came all the way up here, dude? I've cornered you. After that battle, you're too weak to escape. Dude, what are you doing? That's my sand slash. Now return the food you stole. Huh? What's this? You've been stealing my food for your friends and family? Oh, now who's the jerk, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's just trying to feed its babies. Looks like it has three babies. That cry. I've heard it somewhere before. Ah. Rare ice type sand slash that live up here. Have Pokemon Rangers stopped coming to feed? Why would they feed the wild Pokemon? Like, I, I always learned as a kid, you don't feed the wildlife. So, he's essentially taking the sand splash away from its children so he can go help. Oh, thank you. Home Claws. Ups the user's attack and accuracy. That sounds like a good move. Missions completed. One. Yay! We did it! We did it! Oh yeah, we'll save and we'll start heading back to town, I think. I believe next episode we'll go hit up Icicle Cave. I know he should catch, because I think he can get the sand shrews here. Yeah, there we go. Sand shrew up here. Uh, don't kill it in one hit, Makuhita. Are these things steel as well? Oh, oh yeah, yep. You can see the little, um little icons next to their name bars there where it shows where it shows their name their level their HP Shard the one that is priority move? No, Ice Shard is like the it does five attacks. Alright, into the box you go. Because my my ball bag? I don't know what to call it. Like ball belt? I don't know what to call that because in my head, you'd be wearing like a belt, or you'd have a little pouch that would have your Pokeballs in it. That would have your Pokemon in it. And your other Pokeballs you'd have in like a backpack. That's... But my character's not wearing a backpack. <sighs> Maybe I'm thinking too much of it. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you guys think that, you know, your character would be storing their Pokeballs on a belt? In a pouch? Or... I mean, you wouldn't want to keep... You'd want to have your team right there and ready at all times, you know. Right, let's see, what do we got in here? We just, I think we just have the sand shrew in here. I don't want to put anything, uh, probably the, oh, it has an Everstone. That's kind of, kind of nice if I want to use that. Okay, so we have Rogan Rolla and we have Sand Shrew. Take a look at this sand shrew. It is ice and steel. Good special attack, but the rest is in special defense. And it has snow cloak. That's not bad. Powder snow rollout. So something I've just learned from watching Madry Bread is that maybe it was J Rose. I think it might have been J Rose. That if you use rollout before, if you use defense curl before you use rollout, it doubles the power of rollout, which is kind of cool that it does that. All right, guys, we are gonna end the episode here. Next episode, we'll be tackling Icicle Cavern. 
or Icicle Cave. So until then, I'll see you guys next time.